Today I'm going to show you how to make delicious fried rice using the cauliflower, a great substitute. This is LCHF. It's low carb, high fat. When people uh, first start with their LCHF diet, they are thrilled because they can eat all that kind of fatty food. But um, like for a breakfast menu, when you come up with this bacon and cheese and um, those eggs, you might be thrilled. You are losing weight at the same time and using and eating all that fatty food. But if you come across with the same food the second day and third day, you might want to strangle someone next to you. So today I'm going to show you how to make um, something that can be a good substitute for carb. Here I have a head of cauliflower. Uh, this can be a great, great substitute for a rice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the florets. It's really easy. To um, tear apart, so you have the core. I'm just gonna gently remove the core. This one goes into my food processor. Now you can see my cauliflower has the uh, consistency like a, a plain rice, and this will make a perfect rice. Now that my rice, uh, the fig rice is ready, soft and fluffy, this is what I need for my fried rice today. I need bacon and some veggies, any veggies that you have in the refrigerator. And for color wise, I have some broccoli. Chop the vegetables today. I'm using um, a carrot, I'm not going to use the whole. I have some red onion, some white mushroom and broccoli but you can replace with any kind of vegetables you have. You can never go wrong with red onions when it comes to a fried rice. Broccoli and cauliflower, uh, they look pretty much alike, but broccoli gives this crunchier texture. Since I'm making the LCHF fried rice, which means I have to cover the 75% of fat, I'm going to use a lot of bacon. For my fried rice, what I, uh, let me show you what I need. I have some bacon, uh, broccoli, white mushroom, red onions, and carrot. That's my fake rice. And for garnish, I'm going to be using some of the pork belly. Before I start my fried rice, I'm going to lightly saute my cauliflower because it's kind of liquidy and moist. I'm going to make it dry. Today I'm using about a head and a uh, half of cauliflower to so take a lot of time if a towel dry. A couple of minutes, turn down the heat, and this one goes back to the bowl. I'm going to let it cool so that it dries up a little bit. Take that in first. I'm gonna make my bacon super crispy today. I'm gonna let it sizzle a uh, few more minutes. There are many variations you can make using the cauliflower uh, when you want an LCHF diet, another for ketogenic diet. It's because they have relatively very low carbs. Let's say a bowl of uh, cauliflower has about four grams of carbs, whereas a bowl of rice has about uh, 49 grams of carbs. This oil, the bacon oil, I used to think this is bad, but you know what? It is good. Mix it up, baby. The broccoli. A tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Here I'm putting the cauliflower. Fluffy rice, pinch of salt. I'm adding my bacon back in. Ooh. Here I have some broccoli. I'm gonna use it for garlic. Plating. Oh. I should be 
be more feminine when I play it. And here comes my pork belly. I'm using the Gouda. Okay. Let me give it a try. Very porky. <laughs> mm. This is an awesome taste of fried rice. You know, it really tastes like a rice. I'm, I think I'm gonna get addicted to it. Wow. In LCA tape diet, it's important to have 75% of fat, about 20% of protein, and five of carbs. And this is it. If you like my video, Give me a big thumbs up and feel free to subscribe my channel. See you next time on my next video. Bye bye.